if Nasser coalition was given a chance to form the next government in 2017 after the general election, most of the things that we are talking now in the Building Bridges Initiative could have been already been implemented because most of these issues were already covered through the NASA manifesto. But since they, not, they did not got that opportunity, and many people still believe that NASA won an election, but they were not declared the winner, President Uhuru Kenyatta and the ODM leader, who, was also, sorry, who is also one of the NASA principals, found themselves in a handshake. A handshake that then later led to the Building Bridges Initiative where Raila had his own issues and President Uhuru Kenyatta also had his own reservations that they put together and formed that BBI. <clears throat> now that one put aside. Then the, the, I, the Antony General finally got a chance to officially file the case seeking a stay. And therefore the court have given it the emergency it deserves so on 26, they will be listening to that case and give the decision. Again, that one put aside. For the first time, there is the news that was going around through the newspapers where they were talking about the political party leaders going back to the drawing board. They talked about the One Kenya Alliance getting dismantled, reorganizing and strategizing themselves again since the Building Bridges Initiative bill has been stopped. They said reggae has been stopped by the judges. But I have a contrary view to that. And before I deeply explain it, you might be watching me for the first time and you have not yet subscribed to this channel. Consider using this time to subscribe so that any other time, once we come out with a video like this one, you will always get notified. And to everyone who have subscribed, I must say thank you so much for your unconditional support to this platform. Actually, the more people subscribe here, the more we reach more people outside there. So be part of this family by just subscribing. And also remember to share, like, and comment on the videos. Now let us get back to our discussion. Now when NASA was formed, they had already prepared the position of the Premium Cabinet Secretary, the same position we can refer to the Prime Minister and the two Deputy Prime Ministers that they wanted to dish out to other principles in the coalition during that time. And uh, from President Uhuru Kenyatta's side, they did not have such position and even they did not have such intention of forming such kind of a government. And therefore, going to the, to the election, NASA knew that after that they are going to pass some bills in the National Assembly so that they can implement these things. And therefore, going ahead even, they had an agenda of having a Another referendum so that they can put some changes in the constitution, the 2010 constitution. But that did not happen. And so, when we come to the issue of the BBI, after the judges throw that bill out by nullifying it, so many people outside there have come to believe that this is going to send back the political leaders, people like Kalonzo Musioka, Senator Masika Wetangula, Gideon Moy, Musalia Mdavad, Raila Odinga, Uhuru Kenyatta, and any other individual, including even the Tanga Tanga team. Because even, they had believed, even if they're going to change the constitution, they will still use it to get the power and form the next government. So they are included. Most of these people, Many people have believed that they have been sent back to the drawing board. Like the newspapers put outside there, but mainly they were hitting on the One, one Kenya Alliance and Raila Molo Dinga. <laughs> so in that view, I still believe that that is not the real issue here. Because as we are talking right now, many people are proposing that in case that President Uhuru and Raila Molodinga are not going to win the case. Then they should prepare to use the parliamentary way to get back to the BBI. And even as we are talking now, they are talking in corridor that these leaders are planning on how they are going to push for some bills through the National Assembly and Senate as they keep on fighting for this case. 
Check that even if they are going to lose that case, there are some things that they will deal with. For example, the issue of the Prime Minister. At least through the National Assembly, through the parliamentary system, they can initiate this position. They will have that position of the Prime Minister and two deputies. Therefore, even if you are talking of these positions, and through, let's say, one Kenya alliance, that many people are still believing that they, they are going to welcome in Raila Amolo Dinga, still these positions are outside there to be dished to these leaders and form the next government. So in that manner, we still believe that there's nothing like sending these leaders back to the drawing board. Because for them, the real position that they were angling for up there, Ile Ruta Amekua Kisema Kila Mara Yakwamba expanded executive. They can still be implemented. And therefore, there is a move to make sure that this one is going to be implemented in case BBI is going to die. Because in real sense, you will find that President Uhuru Kenyatta, in his own wisdom, still believes that there are some changes that have to take place before he leaves the office. Raila Molo Odinga also is still convinced that there are changes that they have to make through this handshake. That handshake should not just die like that after President Uhuru Kenyatta leaving the power. He still believes that there are some changes that they can do before President Uhuru Kenyatta retires as the fourth president of the Republic of Kenya. And so this one informs to the fact that there are plans to move this thing through the uh, parliamentary system. So this confirmed to the fact that the NASA coalition agenda might be still alive up to date. Some of the other issues that they added in is the issue to do with the boundaries, boundary limitations and the 70 constituents, constitu constituencies. Those are the, the, uh, most of the issues that were bringing jitteries among Kenyans because most of, most of the people still believe that there was no equality in division of those constituencies. So that's the main issues. But again, the other good issue that was coming here is the issue to do with the uh, ward funds, then bringing in members of parliament as ministers. So bringing back the position of ministers rather than having cabinet secretaries. I think those other ones, they will need a referendum to bring them back to life. But still, some of these leaders can be appointed outside there in case they are going to campaign but not vie for positions. What to come in Parana and the other governors who are there for the second time, who are finishing their second time, they can still come out and then after that they can be appointed in the next government. That still is workable. So, many of the issues that NASA wanted to deal with, still they have a chance to deal with these issues. And President Uhuru Kenyatta, in a tight position that he is staying in, he might not want to destroy the handshake. And for that reason, they can still work closely with Raila Molodinga, like the way they are still doing, to make sure that they are coming out at least with something at the end of 2021, before we head to 2022. <laughs> so we are going to see so many things playing outside there. But the fact remains that even if the court will have their way, these leaders will always come out with another means and make sure that they are dealing with some issues there. So therefore, prepare in 2022 to have a position of the Prime Minister, two Deputy Prime Ministers, the President and the Deputy President. That might be a reality. So don't run away from this. This will still happen. And I'm sure, even if the Deputy President is against that play, it will still give him a good position whereby he can dish out these positions heading to that general election. So this can help any of these individuals who are seriously running for the office in 2022. Because now it's becoming clear that Kenya is a tribal society. And therefore, every tribe needs something. For that reason, this is one of the ways that they were going to cure these issues outside here. So for President Uhuru Kenyatta to cure his legacy and the stamp in, 20, in, in Kenyan politics, he is going to push in all means to make sure that 
at least it's bringing some changes to the executive. <laughs> that one is going to work out. And whether Raila will be going for the presidency in 2022 or not, they still believe that they have to work out this issue outside here. So we are going to see how the, the courts are going to pronounce themselves in this case as, as much as these leaders are going to push for these issues. But what I'm still believing is that even after they are going to make these positions, after 2022 general elections, if the wishes of Raila Molo Dinga and the President Uhuru Kenyatta will be granted and have their chance in 2022, I'm sure they are going to have we are going to have another referendum where it will be well draw, where it will be well calculated for and dealt with in a manner that the court will not have a chance or any Kenyan will not have a chance to go to the court to seek it nullifying. So after 2020 general election, if BBI will not be sorted in court, then to do some changes, these leaders in case they will be in power then these issues will be dealt with in 2022. <laughs> that is the fact. So they still have a chance there to play some politics there and handle some issues outside there. I still believe through that way, these leaders will still emerge victorious. They will still have their way. So everything, I think, is not lost. So let's wait and see how things are going to play outside. And again, we will come out to give our views. Thank you so much. For reaching this far with me and if you are in a position to drop a comment please do so i have a chance to read to read each and every comment and respond to all of them i want to thank you the people who just subscribed to the channel last night it was so much tremendous we received nice numbers and still i want to thank you the other people who are already members in this channel so i call them family so thank you so much for this big family the way we are growing, I welcome each and everyone. And for the old fans, I want to use this opportunity to tell you, please welcome the new people on this platform. Thank you so much for staying with me this far. May good God bless you and see you in our next video.